Hello, how is everyone doing? It is your fallen angel back with another video. Today, we will be covering the topic of circulating energy, also known as chi, or chakra points. Now, before we get started, feel free to check us out on Patreon, Rumble, Instagram, Twitter, things of that nature. Also, like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's just jump right in. So, this meditation is the most powerful. It is done by martial artists and advanced meditators. It enables the practitioner to feel, control, and direct energy, also known as chi. Be patient. You more than likely will need 15 minutes to, to a half an hour set aside for this to begin with. Again, everything is individual. In the beginning, for most people, the energy will be slow and coming and will move like molasses. But this varies according to one's development in past lives. Normally, with repeated meditations, it will speed up and you will be able to direct it at will. So guys, depending on how well you are within the past lives. With, so people can tap in. They can tap into past lives. They, there's this thing called old souls. Now, this is the truth for people that have been constantly reincarnated. So for people like that, they can astral project like this. They can tune into clear audience like this. They can they can close and open chakra points like this because they've been doing this in their past lives. Now, for someone who hasn't or they don't know how to tune into this, it may take some time. But for the most part, guys, with repeated meditations and repetitions, you will be able to speed this up and get to that point that that a, a adept can get to, that you can really get to it at really quickly. So. This exercise is more in feeling rather than in visualization. So it's all about feeling it within the body, feeling it in the astral plane. So number one, focus on your crown chakra. Just sit three to four minutes and meditate on this chakra. You may feel it as a sort of crawling sensation. This is normal when one advances or on occasion. There is an intense feeling of bliss. You may also feel a pressure there. Two. Focus on your third eye. Meditate on your third eye for several minutes. Feeling a pressure here is normal. Three, move your attention to your throat chakra and do the same as with the above two chakras. Four, move your energy to your heart chakra and focus for a few minutes. So guys, if you could see where we're going, we're working from top down. We're going from the top down pattern of the skull. From the chakra system, we're working top down. This is how we channel energy, we can control energy, and move it towards whatever we want to move this energy towards. 5. Focus now on your solar plexus, and do the same. 6. Follow with your second sacral chakra, do the same. 7. Now focus on the area between your perineum. This is between the rectum and the scrotum for men, and between the rectum and vagina for women. This is a power spot. Visualize the energy growing, glowing brightly like the sun here. So guys, we always talk about Kegel exercises because a lot of the energy from the roots or the base comes from this perineum. It comes from the sexual energy. So when men can either hold their pee or women can hold their pee, squeeze or push, this Kegel exercise is how you breathe. You want to control it. Like when you stop your pee, you want to stop it, feel that and breathe upwards. This is how you activate this Kundalini like serpent. But as we said, guys, we're working from the top down. This is how we will circulate more energy. Eight, move the energy to your base chakra and meditate for three to four minutes or so on your base chakra. Nine, now direct the energy up your spine into your second chakra. This is the second chakra located on your spine. With the first circulation, we focused on the chakras in the front. We are now directing the energy up the back. So guys, we understand that there's two sides. There's the front side with, within the abdomen. There's also the back side within the spine. So there's two spots. So when we work downwards, we're working down the spine. And then once we finally go up, we want to direct the energy up the spine. This Kundalini serpent circles around. There's one going up and there's one going down. This duality in nature, the yin and yang, the masculine, feminine, the night and day. This is the duality in nature. So 10, continue to do the same directing the energy up into each chakra one by one located in the spine until you reach the crown or the third eye 11 
This time, you can direct the energy without pausing, moving it along down the front of your body, chakra by chakra, until you stop again at the perineum and direct the energy up your spine. So guys, we understand that the perineum is very, very important when it comes to yoga, when it comes to channeling energy, channeling your aura. Because this, this stoppage and this squeeze that you do from the sexual energy, it flows up the spine. This energy climbs up the spine. Keep circulating the energy as long as you wish. This exercise will be, enable you to control and direct energy. This is the foundation of all power. You will establish a mind connection to where you are able to focus and the energy will follow, also known as manifestation. This can be used for healing, empowering, or otherwise. So guys, when we, when we understand this concept, we have to understand that everything in this cosmos is fractal energy. We have to understand how we can use our energy as humans to channel for healing, channel for empowerment, channel how we can use this kundalini in our advantage. So guys, this was Circulating Energy Explained, a short form of it. We have further videos on this channel explaining it in depth, but feel free to check us on Patreon, Rumble, Twitter, Instagram, things of that nature. Also like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to check them out. And other than that, guys, it's been your Fallen Angel, and I am out.